Welcome to this video about Porto, Portugal. The first thing you need to know about Porto, Portugal is that it has a soul of an artist. And you can see that by the houses, by just walking down the streets. There's art everywhere and there's beautiful historical sculptures, plenty of museums. This city was built in the 16th century and you can see that all these buildings are very old and historical. Even the place we're staying has history in it. All these places that people live here every day have those beautiful tiles and they're just part of it. The way Portugal was created, it was just basically Spain gave a little piece to the people who discovered other countries and then it started rooting down. Now, Porto was one of the major cities and that's actually where the Douro River starts. With Porto, you get the ocean, the history, and most importantly, the best wine in the world. What I love the most about Porto is the lifestyle. I was just grabbing breakfast this morning and there was somebody who lives here and they were telling me about how they go to their favorite cafe every day, they got lunch, they got dinner. So you can really see that how people enjoy their everyday life. Now, not only has amazing wine, there's even better food, the seafood is great and there's just so much to do. The apartments for most people are very small and they're not all that luxury. And you can even see that because our apartment, the bathroom is lowered down and there's not that many walls. So people are encouraged to spend time together. In addition to that, if you're looking for a place to be creative, Porto is it. It's very quiet, but at the same time, it has that city vibe. It's not very expensive. There's a lot of free things to do. So if you're in a budget, this is a place to be. Drinks are generally around five to 10 euros, which is pretty cheap comparing to where we're from. And food is around 10 to 20 euros for dinner or lunch. We got two of the tickets for an hour tour that we're going to take right to the ocean and then back. And with that, for 15 euros a person, there comes two drinks from two different wineries. But that being said, we're gonna proceed to trying some of the wine and we'll catch up with you on the cruise. Right now is the best time to visit if you wanna to go to the most famous restaurants such as Flo. So if you're in for the good food and you're not huge on the nightlife, it's an amazing time to come because every restaurant is available and you'll find a seat for yourself. I couldn't decide which one to try, so we're gonna try both. For one activity in Porto, Portugal, that is adventurous, but not too dangerous, this is what you should choose. It was only six euros per person, and it's absolutely safe. The cabin is closed, so if you're looking for a way to overcome your... Ah, my <laughs> Never mind, take back what I said, but not really. If you're looking for a way to overcome your fear of heights, this is another beautiful way of doing it. You can be on top of Porto, Portugal. It's literally like a helicopter tour, but way more affordable and a lot safer. You get to see the architecture. This church right behind me was built in 1300, so you totally can walk around during the day and see it from the inside. But the way you get to see it from the top is just so much better. Ah, <laughs> no, no. And what? Oh my god, I keep your booty stable. Guess what? It's already over. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. I enjoyed this very much and I'm so happy all of you came with me. 
to be here. This view is just phenomenal. You have to come here and spend six euros on this train and experience this wonderful views. Not only this is a great place to visit, but this is also a very Instagrammable location. You have to come here and take some pictures just to show off. The best things in life are free and this is a proof of it. This bridge is totally free to walk, so after you're done taking your tram in the sky to this beautiful Jura Valley, you can finally enjoy this walk. It's so scenic, it's literally beyond my words. You get to see the entire city in a glimpse, and it's super short, it's convenient, it's easy, and it's just beautiful. Most importantly, it's free. And that's why I love Porto, Portugal. It's super affordable and you get to do the best things in the world for literally free. And <laughs> what else do you need? Porto is the type of city in Europe that if you want to take yourself to the 13th century, you surely can. Just go visit a couple castles in Porto, Portugal. It literally, if you're a history buff, I highly suggest you come here and check out all the castles. Really get to know how things were like in the past. This is a train that's an elevator train. It takes you from down all the way to the up. Like a train does, but also an elevator. So it's a train of elevator. Thank you for watching this week's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And check out our new video and make sure to leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye.